Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 Metro. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 041 underscore DIAB underscore M where you save it. You can also download this file from the website. Click the file tab and hover the mouse cursor to save as select project. This brings the save project as dialog box. Rename this file to 00 underscore 042 underscore DIAB underscore M. Click the save button. Now, in the previous tutorial, we look at the elevations in Revit. In this tutorial, we're going to look at some way to view your project in a real 3D. For instance, when you click the default 3D view for the very first time, Revit automatically grid uh, 3D file in a crawly bracket. All of these other 3D are custom 3D that I created previously during the construction process. This is the advantage about viewing your model in Revit. Sometimes you just need to view a specific area to make it easy for you to construct or to model certain area in your project. If I double click the 3D view ground floor, you see a result like this. This allows me to see everything in the ground floor. If I double click this, this allows me to see the back stairs and help me to construct the back stairs or to see the result after the construction. For you to get more a better understanding how I created this view, even if you have been following along, I'm going to get more view. Now, make sure that click the default 3D view to make the Golly 3D is the current view. Now, right click the UCS and move down your mouse cursor, orient to view, orient to direction, orient to plan. Let's look at these guys one by one. Let's start from orient to view. Move your mouse cursor, you have the plan option. When you have the mouse cursor to this option, you see all the plans in your project. You have the elevation, you see all the elevation in your project. You have the section, you see section YY and section XX. You have the 3D. You see all the other 3D that you created in this view. Now, let's start by using the sections. Maybe section YY. Orient. Let me click out and start over again. Right click. Orient to view. Section. Section YY. Now, Revit automatically place me in section YY. With this section, with this 3D section, you can see exactly how the section look in real 3D world. Now, you look at it on a flat screen because we orient to a section. You can also hold down your shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit to see this in a real 3D world. Zoom. This can help you visualize your drawing better. Now, this also revealed that, this already revealed that you can, you have a corridor and look through the, down the living. And this can also help you the construction process. If you look at this, you see the wall goes through the floor, which is not a good idea. Now, if I select this wall and then select the Achato base, I'm going to select this slab you see revit correct that error so in revit you achieve one command during the process of using another command you can also select this wall hold down the control key select this wall select this wall this foundation wall and this foundation wall go to the achat top base and click on this slab you see now the walls have been corrected nicely i see a cap here i don't know exactly what is this oh this is a room separator i can tell when i have the mouse cursor on the tooltip now if i don't want to see this room separator anymore it's like there is another one here no this is a wall so have the mouse cursor and select then click this down arrow and select hide 
category this hide all the room separator in this view now if i want to see more detail or less detail, i have the access and the power to do just that now if i select the section box the section box has has six double arrow points in different direction for instance if i want to see more of the model at the back all i need to do click on this control and move backward rivet give me more project to look at if i want to cut something i want to see more detail in the front click on this and move outwardly and see more and reveal more option in this project then now at this point if i want to see more detail all i need to do hold down the shift key and the middle mouse button and orbit to get the right orientation you see i think i need to move this backward i don't want to see this one so i'm going to click this when you click an empty area the section box is automatically deselected so now select the section box and click on this arrow and move it backward i want to get all right i'm there so you see if i were place some family into this project you should have seen the furniture right away now even when you look at the space this space is too high to just leave it like that maybe you you may change your mind and get another floor into this area for storage purpose or whatever if you want to so this is the advantage of greeting you can even see the closet door at the far right side but now this section is still on the default 3d view if i go to the quick access tool by again and click the default 3d view you see anytime i click the default 3d view this is the view that really is going to give me so to avoid this i need to give a custom name to this view so now i'm going to right click this view and select rename now i'm going to call this 3d 3d view 3d view at section at section at section yy and click ok we no longer have any default 3d view in the project so now when you click uh, the default 3d view if it creates another default 3d view because the previous default view has been renamed to this view now go to the view access tool and click this default 3d view you see and all of the other property associated with this view are in the default state so change the view detail to fine and change the display mode to shaded to see the result let's create once one more right click the view cube move your mouse cursor down and select orient to view this time instead of orient to view let's use orient to direction and select the again this is another problem you have already renamed the north south east west to custom name like front left right and rear but when you use this command the custom names doesn't appear in this area so let's try and do something like orient to direction so to avoid the confusion let's just select the top and see exactly what we have now we have oriented to the top Hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit. Zoom out. We need to modify these guys. To do that, we need to select the section box. But the section box is not isn't displayed. Place a check mark to the section box and move the mouse cursor away from the property palette. Now the section box is here. You can select this guy and move this guy down. You see to see the different parts of the model. This can even help you to reveal some detail that may be difficult to see in the initial drafting stage. You see, now you see the bedroom up, bedroom down, how the walls are tallied together. You see, you see the closets. Now, click the right click the 3D view in the project browser, rename, rename this, guy, this view to 3D. 3d view at at top this is how he reveals some difficult area in Revit in the next tutorial we're going to play some fam families to our project if you like this tutorial please click the like button and share it to your friends if you have any question or suggestion please leave a comment below if you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel, please subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next class. Goodbye.